It would have been a pleasure to make an entrance like this young dancers. But I do my best anyhow, uh, but I have to put on my glasses. Well, well. Your Royal Highness, Ministers, Excellencies, Laureates, Finalists and Ladies and Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the Stockholm Junior Water Prize Award ceremony. First, I would like to uh, express my thanks to uh, Crown Princess Victoria. Your engagement and uh, enthusiasm uh, has been highly appreciated and is an inspiration to our all. Thank you for coming here. And then... <laughs> And then, of course, a special warm welcome to the finalists, 55 students living in 28 countries from all over the world. We give them another hand. Thank you. <laughs> and, of course, congratulations to all the finalists. All of you are already winners in your National Junior Water Prize competition and that is what gave you the opportunity to travel to Stockholm and be part of the international final here today. Many of you have traveled quite a long time, others not that long, but anyhow, uh, we hope that you will enjoy the stay here in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. Over the last days, uh, you have presented your projects to the jury. And what from, uh, from what I have heard and what I have seen, the quality of your work is outstanding. And that is important. The theme of this year's World Water Week is food and water security. But what it's all about is that by the year 2050, we will be about 9 million inhabitants on this planet two billions more than today. It is an enormous challenge to feed all these people and to offer them fresh drinking water and uh, sanitation possibilities. And to meet this challenge, we have to be more innovative, creative and intelligent than ever before. And that is what we think you can contribute with. You will all, like all of us in this uh, room anyhow, play an important role in solving those tremendous problems of the future. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize, as was mentioned, was established in 1997 as an international competition to open to pre-university students, but with the aim to encourage young people's interest in water and environmental issues. And during those 16 years, the competition has developed, in a way, far beyond our expectations, and each year, thousands of students all over the world uh, work with projects related to water and environment. As chairman of the Stockholm International Water Institute, I would also like to thank the poor members of the international jury for their involvement and dedicated work. You have thoroughly read those brilliant reports from the finalists, and during the last two days, you have met and interviewed all of them. After a great deal of work, I know that you have decided on a winner, but thank you for your, very much for your involvement and efforts. And once again, a warm welcome to all of you. I'm sure you will enjoy this evening as much as I will. Thank you.